What's up guys, welcome to Double Chat News, it's Dan. It's Yi. So what if I told you a computer can predict when you will kiss somebody? That's pretty crazy because that means that that computer is psychic. Yes, I would say if a computer can predict human interaction, which it, it can to an extent and it's just getting better and better, like that's just crazy because you could put that brain inside of a robot and now you have basically- They can kind of detect. Yeah. It's, they can't feel human emotion, but it's almost like they can tell where it's leading to. Right, and the way they do that, of course, is they an a computer can analyze millions, millions and millions of sequences and data, and it can make a prediction based on that, based on patterns. Right, so here's right. the thing, right? It, even though it seems like, whoa, so a computer can tell when two people are the kiss, here's the thing. Right. It, at this point, it really can't do that, it, not, especially not in real life. Not yet. Like what we're talking about here is yeah. a, a group of um, MIT researchers. Yeah, of course from MIT. MIT. Oh. So it's actually a group of researchers who had a set of connected computer systems right. analyze hundreds of thousands of TV shows. Okay, listen to that. Listen to that for a second. They analyzed 600 hours of Desperate Housewives and The Office. Right, and, and they basically feed this into the uh, computer systems and the computer systems can then try to predict when two characters are about to kiss, about to high five, or shake hands. Yeah, um, well this computer system right now, it's it was only accurate 43% of the time, so it's basically wrong more than half the time. But they're saying that humans can only be right about 70% of the time. So okay. in comparison, it's not bad considering that this is AI. True. Artificial and intelligence. True, true. And, and Mike and I, we always talk about uh, when the robot apocalypse will come. Yes. Do you believe in the robot apocalypse? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put on my tinfoil hat and say yes. Of course! People, and you know like some viewers, some, some like people who are just like, no way, are you guys crazy? No, come on people. I, I don't on. know if it's gonna take place in the way that movies are saying it, but I'm like, it just makes me, I'm a, I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty grounded person, yeah. but it just makes me wonder like nowadays, they're feeding computers this kind of information and the computers can soon tell human emotions. Yeah. I mean, right now it's only not, it's not that accurate, right. but say one day it becomes so developed that it can actually sense what you're feeling, yeah. sense what's about to happen. It has that kind of intuition. I mean, that's kind of scary to me. I mean, I brought this up and Mike hasn't watched this movie. I don't think you have, but the movie called Ex Machina. Oh which, yes. Yeah. Which, this is this is ex machina, and I, and I always bring this up because I'm like, look, basically that AI in that movie, it had the ability to analyze unlimited amount of data from the web, that like for, to people's micro expressions, to all the data it can ever have, it can analyze it so quickly. So basically, you're talking to a, per, a, a robot, but in real time, it's analyzing all this stuff, and that's this is. This is basically the start of that. Yeah, because here's the thing. The, these computer systems are essentially, uh, it's like watching these programs yeah. and then learning to analyze the surrounding environment, what's happening, dialogue, everything yeah. possible. It's analyzing everything and then it makes a prediction. Yeah. And if you if you make that, uh, if you elevate that, that essentially... That, that is essentially, instead of saying make a prediction, you can just give it any command. You could just, you could literally give it the ability to think on its own, I guess. I mean, like, this is basically and that's, and that's what's scary. going on. And that's what's, I, I think it's both amazing and scary at the same time, because obviously um, they want to put this to good use. You know, <sighs> they want to put but, this to help. Yeah, they want to. That's, that's how it always starts. The reason that I take this seriously is because Stephen Hawking, mm -hmm. I mean, he's a renowned scientist. He's one of the greatest he's, minds of our generation, yes. not the entire human history. Yeah. But he thinks that AI is a, yeah. an AI disaster could could come about. And oh, I'm like, well, if he says that, then who am I to say no, right. you know? And, and then on the modern end, for example, Elon Musk and a lot of these young pioneers of technology, I mean, Elon Musk is inventing technology, right? Mm -hmm. And even he was like, yeah, dude, I mean, AI, hello, watch out. I do wanna make a point yeah. though. Keep in mind, these uh, computers are analyzing these shows that, I, I mean, they exaggerate everything. You know, right. you know how in daily life, um, you might not be able to tell if two people are about to kiss? I don't but, think you can tell. But, but in a TV show, you yeah. can definitely tell because yeah. it builds up to it with the music. Right. And the people are like, you know, the, the, the physical contact. Right. Kind of like, you know, it's very, it's very it's apparent. It's formulaic because, because we're, 
we're programmed to recognize the patterns. Like even we're we're like we're watching. We're like, oh, I think they're gonna kiss. Oh yeah, and yeah. Uh, I think they're about. To, I think high fives and handshakes are a little bit harder right. to predict. Um, but well, I, in terms of a kiss, I mean, every single drama show that we watch, we're you like, know they're gonna the kiss, kiss at some is point. Coming. Yeah, you know, and when it comes, you know, you sense it. You know, so I think yeah. that. You know, it's, I don't find it surprising that the computers are able to do that. Right. You know, if if they perfected this prediction technology or able to read people's body language, essentially, I could see like a lot of people using this kind of secretly, like if they're on a date with a girl, and and because because all right, because I'll tell you right now, one of the hardest things is like when you're da- when you're dating, you're always like. Do they like me? Do they do they not like me? When should I kiss them? Like you're always asking yeah, do, these questions. Would, would I be but, too forward if I kiss them? Like something like that? Of course, like you know, when you first date somebody, you're always like asking all these questions. Right. So I could see that this technology could help that if there's like a little voice. I don't voice. think that's what the researchers are having in mind. Oh, you don't help, know that. To help people's first dates. I mean, I could have sure used this when I was going to, you know, when I was going to college, but I right was on. playing Pokemon cards, so that probably. At the end of the day, I think that the human mind and th- th- is something just unpredictable it's, it's amazing and it, i think Absolutely. that you know in daily you can i can be like oh, i might kiss this guy but then at last moment i might yeah. change my mind yeah so i totally agree with you you know as, as much a, as much one day ai will be developed i believe eventually we're working towards that it will never ever be a match for the human brain and yeah. we all know that so. the human brain i mean we only unlocked so like a tiny portion of it you exactly. know i mean limitless um, uh, the Lucy. movie, anyways. Lucy. Anyways, so yeah. I- I'm saying, you know, um, I'm not too worried in that respect because right. I think that the human brain is just right. has unlimited capabilities right. right in here. But at the end of the day, guys, watch out for the robot apocalypse because it's coming. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching. Let us know what you think about this story and in general. Do you believe in the robot apocalypse or the AI apocalypse? Is that going to come? Um, yeah. Thanks again for watching, guys. See ya. Bye.